गुड इवनिंग माई डियर स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम बैक टू ऑल कंप्यूटर क्लासेज स्टूडेंट्स दिस इज पार्ट सेकेंड ऑफ द चैप्टर वन ऑफ क्लास सिक्स इन द पार्ट वन वी स्टार्टेड अबाउट कंप्यूटर लैंग्वेजेस एंड इन दिस वीडियो और क्लास वी विल स्टडी अबाउट वेरियस टाइप्स ऑफ कंप्यूटर मीन्स कंप्यूटर्स आर बेसिकली डिवाइड इन टू फोर मेन कैटेगरीज right so in this video we will understand about all the four types of computers right so the first one is micro computer next is mini computer mainframe computer and super computer right we have four types because all the four types of computer are made for the different purposes so let's understand and see what are their purposes and what are their applications right so the first category is micro computer micro computers are small in size they are inexpensive means they are less expensive computers these are designed for personal use and therefore they are called pc pc means personal computers right so these computers means micro computers mainly used in homes schools offices shops banks etc right so let's see what all types of computer comes under this micro computer the first one is desktop computer right so desktop computers you are very much familiar with these kind of computers as these computers are available in your classrooms also right they are designed to fit comfortably on the top of the desk so that's how they are called desktop consist of several units like monitor mouse cpu keyboard and connect to each other and work like a single unit right you must have seen in your computer labs the monitor is kept on the desk and uh, cpu and uh, ups and keyboard and mouse all are connected to the system and they it work as a desktop computer right so this is your desktop computer right next is laptop computer so laptop computers also comes under micro computer category right they are small in size and can be placed on the top of your lap they are more expensive than desktop and um, laptop usually have 13 to 15 inch screen and battery operated and portable right so battery operated means you know that they, it can be charged and portable means you can take it along with you anywhere and you can sit anywhere and uh, work on it right so this is your laptop right so, and uh, next is tablet computer so you are familiar with tablet computer they are small and lighter than laptop computers and bigger than smartphones right so they are bigger than your smartphone and smaller than your laptop they used a sensitive screen for typing and navigation just like your Uh, mobile phones or you can say smartphones tablet have 7 8 and 9 inch screen so the, uh, this is the size of your uh, screen of the tablet computer mainly used for reading e books watching movies viewing photographs and browsing on net right so this is the purpose of your tablet computer so this is your this is how your tablet computer looks like right next is palm top computer they are smaller lighter and the uh, lighter than laptop they are the smaller version of kind of smaller version of your laptop right and um, they are bigger than your smartphones right so palm top means palm you can keep it on your palm right next is handheld devices so handheld devices are smaller in size and can be easily held in the hands are called handheld devices can be carried in your pocket handheld devices are also called pda means personal digital assistant right so it is called handheld devices are also called pdas right so smartphone and game consoles they come in under the category of handheld devices right so the next is embedded system so embedded system are a system that has a computer hardware with a software uh, the embedded system means the software is the hardware comes with inbuilt software right in uh, embedded systems are the system that has a computer hardware with software embedded or implanted into a large devices right 
so it is a designed to perform specific tasks in various devices so the uh, small set of instructions are inbuilt in that particular hardware for particular kind of work for example your digital camera it has specific functions right like washing machine printer and telephone so only those instructions are inbuilt or embedded on the chip to make only those particular function for example washing machine so what all instruction washing machine would be having it would be having wash spin rinse or soak right so these kind only this much set of instructions are embedded on the chip so they are called embedded systems right like your microwave and um, your remote controls so all these kind of devices which are having particular specific instruction they are called embedded system embedded system are also called microcontrollers right so just remember it they are also called microcontrollers the second category is mini computers so mini computers are bit advanced than micro computer right they are bigger in size like a refrigerator mm -hmm. means they are quite big computers they have higher processing speed and are costlier than micro computer right capable up to capable to support up to 4 to 200 users simultaneously right so means huge huge data can be processed with the my mini computers right so so mini computers are mainly used in banks universities and in other big organizations right so the example of mini computer is pdp8 hp2100 microvax3100 right so let's see how does they look so this is how your pdp used to look hp2100 and micro wax 3100 is this so means micro mini computer when they were made they used to look like this means pdp pdp 8 was first uh, mini computer right and so on so next third category is mainframe right so the first one was micro computer second one was mini computer and third one is mainframe computer right so these computer are very powerful they are big in size with large memory and high speed designed to tackle huge amount of data means huge huge big big datas are being processed in mainframe computers hundreds of user can use it simultaneously right means hundreds of users are using it at the same time so they are used in network environment right network environment means when your computers are connected to each other like in big organizations right so uh, mainframe computers are used there now next is mainframe computer these are very expensive computers because large memories are being used large numbers of uh, the speed is very high so the devices are very expensive used for bulk data processing in scientific laboratories scientific laboratories airline reservation railways ticket reservation stock exchange markets etc in these kind of organization huge and big datas are being processed simultaneously and many many people are accessing the data at the same time so the 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 speed and the memory has to be very big in mainframe computer so that's how they are expensive and that's how they are very fast also so ibm z series pdp 10 and system z 10 these are the these are example of mainframe computers so let's see how they look like so this is how your ibm z series look like almost like big almiras right pdp 10 so this is how your computer used to look the purpose of these computer uh is to carry and process and store huge data so that's how they are very very big right this is also uh, your mainframe computer system z10 so next one is super computers right the name tells that they are most powerful computers with huge processing speed means the speed of processing data is very very high 
right so that's how the name is super computer they are most powerful and process huge amount of data in good speed in very high speed these computers are useful for weather forecasting and space research satellite control so the so super computers are being used for research and satellite control and weather forecast right so the examples are this is your cray one so this is this was the first super computer but this does not belong to india so the first india super computer was param right so this is your own indian super computer right so students i hope you are clear with uh, types of computer so we studied four types of computer all the systems that we see uh, on day to day basis in our school in our uh, homes in our um, offices in shops they all comes under microcomputer right and then we studied about mini computer and then mainframe computer and super computer students i hope you are clear with these four categories of computer all the pictures have been shown all types of all categories of pictures have been shown in the video you go through it once again you will understand it more clearly i'll bring you uh, question answers and fill ups and some true false um regarding this video so see you in the next video till then study hard work hard learn more and take care of yourself god bless you all